So um, hello again to um, uh, Places of Chime. Um, this time we would like to show you a little bit how to play Chime. As you can see, I hopefully with this microphone set up and just checking it works again, uh, you'll be able to hear me when I present. I mean, when I stream and when I Twitch or whatever the lingo these days is. Uh, it's just me this time. Uh, my name is Lana. I'm the associate producer on this project. Uh, Steve at the moment is still in London, so he's not be he's not able to join me. Um, what I'll do is I'll be playing a game. Uh, I'll show you what chime consists of, how you play it, how to play more efficiently, uh, what to concentrate on, what to focus on while playing it, and um, just enjoy the music. Hopefully you'll be able to hear the music, you'll be able to hear me quite well. I'm just checking if the microphone's on. And uh, yeah, so, Chime. Musical puzzle game. What could be better? Um, it came out in 2010, it had a good reception, came out on um, Xbox, PlayStation 3, and Steam. Uh, people enjoy it, I enjoy it, we all love it, so we're making a sequel. Um, it looks a little bit different from the original Chime, which was the plan, make it all nice and pretty. Um, yeah, that's it. This version will be available, is, is available uh, on our website. So the link is just right up there in black letters. So you can play this web version afterwards in your own personal time whenever you want. Currently, the high score, the total coverage percentage is 3,700. Someone has actually spent 200 out 200 minutes playing it, which is well done. Hats off to you! It's amazing. Do let us do let us know who you are. I mean, you tweeted us already, so that's amazing. And um, yeah, let's pretty much start. The point of the game is to fill a grid. You will get this grid. You will get these Tetris shapes, which are officially called pentagonal shapes. You have to place them into three by three quads, and you have a beat line. Once the beat line passes over the quads, that part of the grid will be uncovered. W as I play, I'll be explaining more about it. But that's essentially it. And uh, as you pla place shapes, which I'll show you just in a second, this beat line that passes, this one here, as you place shapes, it will play music. Each, each pentomino shape has its own um, music, so its own sound. Uh, which m which may which means once you play the play place the shapes, the music the track will become fuller and fuller until you get the the whole experience. So um, let me just show you once I fill this big quad, which we hopefully yeah I caught it. So once you fill in the quad, the grid will become darker, and that is the part you you've officially uncovered. Your coverage percentage is right here in this tab, and preferably, hopefully, the point is you were meant to get 100%. Uh, you race against time, so you have three minutes for each level, but obviously as you place shapes, you will get extra time bonus. Uh, at each 10% of the grid covered, you will get the time bonus, and I think it varies. So um, the point of the game is to just uh, place shapes however you see them fit. Um, uncover the grid, um, listen to awesome music, and just have fun. The more quads you make, the higher mo your multiplier will com become, so, which means the higher your score will be. So at the moment I've been pl I placed five shapes. So um, you can concentrate on them, on making them bigger. Um, and that will increase your score right here. Or you can concentrate on making more of them, which will just increase your multiplier, so it depends how whatever your style of play is. Um, you can adapt to that. I have actually no idea what I'm saying. I'm kind of concentrating on the game, so I'll probably be spreading some really random stuff. So you probably won't be able to understand me, just let me know. Whenever you fill, whenever you make a quad, what you will have a leftover will be these little fragments, which will eventually disappear, as you probably noticed before, but I'll explain more in detail when that happens again. Let me just, I've been 
comes to me too much on the right side of the grin and have to cover the rest of it before I run out of time. Again, when we were presenting yesterday in London, uh, we were observing how different people, people play the game and we found that everyone has a completely different style of playing, which is very fascinating. So we're just trying to tailor the game to, to everyone, really. So some people will play by trying to preserve the look attire by making more shape uh, and saving these little fragments. So once they start blinking, it means the next time the blue time passes over them, they'll disappear and clear up the grid. Which is quite useful because otherwise it will get really messy. So as you can see, it will clear up all the other fragments and just clear it up so you can place more shape. Otherwise you wouldn't be you wouldn't have any space to um, to put new component or shapes and that'll kind of defeat the purpose of the game. So I'm just gonna be trying to cover as much as I can all these lighter parts of the grid. red version which you can play which is available on our website as you said before and the link is just above um, just above here so you can see where I just pointed with the component shape um, you can play with the Xbox 360 controller for PC or you can just play with a mouse and keyboard I prefer mouse and keyboard to be honest it's um, much faster and less less bother so like this it's more fluid I suppose and with, with the controller, it's kind of, um, for me, it kind of glitches whenever um, I try to pass through the, um, throughout the grid. So definitely don't fear if you keep making slots over the uncovered part of the grid. Sometimes you don't have a choice. Sometimes that's all you can do if you want to extend, extend the whole thing. Pretty much let's just explore however we whatever suits the best when you play the game. As I said, everyone has a different style of playing, which is pretty cool. And make sure you feel free to tweet us. Tweet us your high scores, tweet our tweet us um, some screenshots, how you play, we'd definitely like to see that. I'm completely making a mess now. Sometimes you really rely on the fragments to drop because it becomes such a mess. I'm not sure if I mentioned in this stream or the one before when I realized my microphone was working. Um, You can increase the multipliers. You can make the the quads bigger um, to get to get higher scores. There are a couple of different shapes as you can see. Um, I think there's one, two, three, four, four or five shapes, and uh, which are then flipped and rotated. So you you end up with uh, ten or twelve shapes. Which, which you can arrange differently. Um, I'm probably gonna run out of time. Oh yeah, and you get extra time uh, whenever you reach every at every ten percent. You will get extra time. So I'm um, completely run out of time now. I didn't manage to get to nine to five as I did in the other stream. Uh, I guess I was too concentrated when talking. In any case, that's essentially what time is. Uh, feel free to give it a go on our website, uh, tweet us, Facebook us, um, subscribe to our newsletter. We'll be we we post um, we have to do probably do it more frequently, but we post updates here and there on uh, how our progress is with development is going. Uh, we really value your feedback, so feel free to let us know your suggestions, what you want from the game. Um, if 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 you feel it's any 
majorly different from the original one where you like to just make sure that you get the best game experience that you can and um hopefully uh next time uh steve will be here and he will do another stream and perhaps we even get tom who composed this uh first track uh it will be i think it will be really cool for you guys to see what went into composing um, a track for charm for example and what goes in for the development and all the technical details if you're interested so yeah just let us know and uh stay tuned for more streams stay tuned for more news uh play the game and um keep in touch see you guys later <laughs>